at some of those games probably deserve deserve better. And there's ones we could easily have been on the winning side of things. But um, you know, when you know you lose a string of games like that, you just want to put an end to it and try to get in the win column. And I thought we did a good job of just staying with it. We didn't have a ton of shots early on. Um, I think we still played all right. I don't think that that was indication how we were playing necessarily, but. To look up and see, you know, eleven three or something like that. It's it's easy to get frustrated by that, and we just stuck with it and eventually climbed our way back. Okay, the front one. Just uh, what have been your impressions of Ricard Raquel since he joined the team, and what do you make of the chemistry you had with him in your limited time together? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's not easy, you know, jumping on a new team. I think you know he's uh, he's done a great job of uh, just playing his game and. Uh, adjusting quickly, I think he's he's a guy that's got a ton of skill. He sees the ice well, and as far as chemistry goes, I mean, you know, I just I tried to get in in uh, bowls there, and you know, he put her in my tape on both of them. So um, I think those are those are all him, just making great plays, heads up plays, and seeing the ice well. And I just I just try to capitalize. West back right. So when you reach one of these milestones, you often say that it's a nice number, but given the circumstances the losing streak that you had coming in and then getting the 1400 in your 1100 game with the overtime winner just how special it was. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, an emotional game like that, um, you know, down the stretch here in the season, you know, obviously the points are so important uh, always, but, you know, especially now when we're fighting for position. So uh, you just you want to find a way to contribute and uh, for, you know, for, the, for that one to go in in overtime and and uh, to get two points is huge, so uh, I'll take that if that's what comes with it. But uh, you know, I think we're all just you know trying to get points, play the right way, and uh, give ourselves the best chance here. Matt in the middle. You said uh, Casey DeSmith has kind of been building momentum here over the last couple of months, but today might have been his best game of the season, I thought. What do you make of, of his performance, and, and how important was that for you guys going into that? Yeah, he was awesome. Um, made some huge saves. You know some. You know, ones that look like from the bench, a couple of them that were going to be almost for sure goals. We found a way to to get a pad on it or make a save and, and keep us in the game. So um, he, he made some huge saves, and uh, it's great to see him doing well. He works hard and you know, spends a lot of time on his game, so it's not easy. You know, as, a, as a goalie having to come in all the time, you know, on back-to-back -back games or, or things like that, it's not easy. So, uh, you know, to get the win for him and, and for him to play the way he did, Sid, you know what it's like to be out for a long time and come back and get your first goal. Can you appreciate what Zucker was feeling tonight? What did, how much did that mean to you? And what can he mean going forward to this team? Yeah, I was really happy for him. I think uh, you see a guy, and, you know, when they're injured, and, you know, what they have to go through in all the early mornings and the rehab and everything that comes with that. Um, it's not easy. And then to be in this situation and come back a couple times just to, you know, to get hurt and, have to deal with it again. So, um, you know, he's been uh, unbelievable with attitude and his approach and the way he works. And to see him get his first and for it to be a big one like that was, was huge. So, uh, again, you, know, you love to see your teammates have success, and, you know, especially when uh, he's been through what you know what he has. Three more down in front. Sid, what's been the, the team's focus of, of late, and particularly going into this game? Things haven't gone great here. What did you want to see today collectively from? I think the main things for us is just competing and not beating ourselves. I think that, uh, you know, competing and, and making sure that, uh, you know, we play teams, you know, they expect a team that's going to be in their face. And, uh, they're not going to get uh, easy ones that we give them. And sometimes, you know, it's, uh, it's easier said than done. But, you know, we really have to make sure, especially this time of year, that we're limiting our mistakes and, you know, not giving teams easy ones. So, um, you know, a big part of that is just uh, playing in their face. And, not giving up uh, room out there, but the other side is it's just mental too. So I think, uh, you know, just that, that compete level and uh, just making sure that we don't beat ourselves is probably be the biggest things. And did a pretty good job of that. You're going to make mistakes, but uh, for the most part, we were pretty good. Seven, right? Uh, so 